There was a lot of news yesterday, and there was one item that a lot of people were asking for. What was it? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in the Cube. There was a lot of news that happened in this last week, so let's dig in and find out what it was. First up on the list is a new content pack for Insightly CRM. So if you're using Insightly CRM to manage your business, go ahead and take a look at this content pack. It is a curated set of a dashboard report and data set to help you get up and running quickly. Last week, we talked about the release of CTP 3.3 for SQL Server 2016. That included reporting services and analysis services. This week, we've got a new preview for the mobile report publisher. So if you're looking to check out the mobile reports feature in reporting services, go and download this latest preview so that you can create reports for your mobile devices. Next on the list is a blog post by Matt Allington. And in this post, he talks about compression and the fact that if you sort your data before you load it in, you could actually increase the amount of compression on the data within Power Pivot. Now I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold up in Power BI Desktop and SQL Server Analysis Services Tabular, although he doesn't talk about those specifically, but he does highlight the, the difference in the size of the files when sorting the data before you load it in. So if you're interested in compression and getting the most out of the space on your disk, and for your data model. Go check out this blog post and see how he did it. Next up is a blog post by Patrick LeBlanc where he talks about how to utilize row level security in SQL Server 2016 and leverage that from a reporting services perspective. I know he and I have talked about this before. He's very passionate about row level security and was really excited over the fact that you could do this now in SQL Server. Analysis Services has had it for a while, but SQL Server didn't really have an elegant way to do this. So he goes through and walks you through how to take advantage of this feature in SQL Server 2016. Last on my list is a blog post highlighting the updates for Power BI Service over the last couple weeks. And in this is one of the top most asked feature requests for Power BI. The ability to share a dashboard to external users. So that means you can share your dashboard with folks that are not in your organization. You still have to supply an email address, but the feature is there now for you to go check out. Also in this blog post, it was highlighted that there is now an admin portal for Power BI. So if you're an administrator for your organization, check out the new admin feature. It's there under the cog. It has a link directly to the Auto 365 admin portal for user and group management. And it also has some features that you can toggle on and off for your organization. This includes the ability to disable the ability to publish to web, which was mentioned a few weeks ago. The ability to stop publishing an organizational content pack to the entire organization. So they would be forced to enter a group or a list of users. And also the ability to stop the ability to share to external users. So hopefully this is a great first step in IT enterprise administration of your Power BI tenant. I'd love to get your comments on the items I talked about. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know what you thought. Are you really excited that you can share out with external users now? I know a lot of people were asking for that. Also, be sure to check out the comments and see what other people are saying. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this, where I look at the last week and I find the items that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where it's either looking at a feature, how something works, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.